Welcome to the Art of Listening to Your Body podcast. My name is Jin Ong and I'm your host. I practice as an osteopath and psychosomatic therapist and I'm fascinated by the mind-body connection and how your physical body is a manifestation of your emotional state. I help people get unstuck from their chronic pain and live the life they want grounded in values and driven by purpose. My aim is to create awareness to the underlying emotions behind pain, injury, and disease in the body. Join me to learn more about the story of your body, what different issues may indicate, how to release emotions so that you can prevent problems, as well as inspiring pain story interviews. Have you ever thought about what's going on in your life when your knees give you problems? You might experience the more obvious injuries like a sprain to the ligaments of your knee, ruptured ligaments like your ACL and PCL, these are the internal ligaments of your knee, or issues with the meniscus, which is the cartilage of your knee joint. You might even have some degeneration that over time leads to osteoarthritis because of increased load or previous trauma to the joint. Most of the time, these injuries can be put down to a specific incident like a ski accident, a fall, or an awkward twist. But why is it that some days people can just wake up with a sore knee and there is no trigger? It might come and go after a couple of days or hang around and there's no accident to explain it. Even with the more obvious injuries and causes anywhere in the body, I still wonder why a particular area of the body was weak enough to be injured. I use car accidents as an example. So people end up in horrific car accidents where surely they should have had a few broken bones and some major injuries, but they've walked away without a scratch. But a minor or freak accident, as people call it, can lead to some pretty serious trauma. Is it luck when you get up and walk away or is it something else? Same goes for injuries that happen due to accidents. Sometimes you get up and walk away feeling lucky. Other times it just doesn't make sense why you got injured so easily. Or that minor injury that then turns into a bunch of complications. What I've seen is the ACL ruptures or meniscus injuries that leave people unstable in the knee and feeling like it wants to give way. This is a time where I encourage surgery to go in, repair and stabilise the knee. But it can turn into a bit of a mess when someone gets an infection after the surgery, the graft fails, their rehab just doesn't take hold and it just didn't turn out how they wanted. Maybe the surgery is successful, but three or four years later, they're still in pain and have had to stop doing the things that they love to do. Instead of trying to work out why everything went wrong or start to blame yourself, the therapist or the surgeon, take a different approach and ask yourself what your body is trying to tell you. If you don't have a therapist that can work with you in this way to help you understand, hopefully this information will give you insight and something to reflect on if you experience knee pain or haven't been able to rehab that injury. First, you need to make sure you actually made an effort to rest, repair, and rehab. Emotions that arise from experiences can often get suppressed and stored in different parts of the body. This is what I believe weakens a tissue and predisposes it to injury and blocks the normal healing process. People often put a lot of weight into physical therapy, which is important, but it's also easier than dealing with emotions. If you're going to therapy week after week and you're not really sure why you're there because you feel like you're in a holding pattern, let's look deeper. Your knees relate to your sense of direction in life. They're part of the solar plexus, which governs emotions around identity, confidence, trust, self-esteem, ego, power, authority, assertiveness, decisiveness, an expression of self. The right knee, being on the masculine side, has to do with your sense of direction, particularly in terms of business and career. 
It doesn't mean that you have to be an entrepreneur doing your own thing. You can work for somebody else in a company that aligns with your values. So it's important to know what your values are. In your work, you want to feel that you're contributing to a bigger vision and also being valued for your role in the business. This can include financial remuneration. Over time, you may outgrow the business, your values change, and then it's time to move on. Or maybe you do go out and do your own thing. Going out to do your own thing is where many blocks come up for people. All of a sudden, they need to put their face and themselves out to the world, which also means exposing oneself to judgment and criticism. The left knee has to do with your sense of identity and role in your relationships, mainly around your intimate partner relationships. Are you clear about the role in your relationship that you play? Do you feel supported to move forward together? Being on the left side, think of feminine qualities, intuition, desire, and creativity. Are you comfortable expressing these aspects of yourself to your partner? I find that when one person in a relationship is on a personal development path, identity can start to shift and the person you once were, which possibly wasn't fully expressed, hence why you're on that journey, starts to change and you become a different person to the one who entered the relationship. So this relationship or your partner doesn't support you anymore. It can also be that your partner is the one who is outgrowing you and your body is telling you that this relationship isn't serving you anymore. If you can listen to those niggles in the knees, it's the ability to recognize this and let go of people in your life to open up new opportunities for relationships that support you to move forwards and allow you to feel your desires. That niggly left knee could also be indicating you have some trust issues in your relationship. The other thing I've noticed in people with left knee issues is that they're in that correct job or career for them and they have a great relationship, but they're not fully expressing themselves in the way they want to in their line of work. Expression of self is very much a left side or feminine quality. If you think about the above descriptions, a lot of what I've described is that job not suiting you, not feeling valued, or that relationship not supporting you. However, it can flip the other way. Sometimes we have such deeply ingrained beliefs about ourselves that it's actually us that needs to change the way we think. For example, Left knee pain that comes out of not trusting your partner can be because you've been cheated on in a past relationship and you've carried that fear through to your current relationship, even though it's not going to happen. Feeling undervalued at work and not financially remunerated? Are you actually contributing at a level that deserves the financial remuneration that you're after? If the same pattern in relationships keeps coming up or every job doesn't treat you well enough in your mind, Either your values aren't lined up or you've got to take a better look at yourself and what you need to change, not what everyone else needs to change. This can come by allowing your mind to be a little more open and flexible. Because the main issue with joints is either instability or stiffness, you can use these descriptions and ask yourself if you feel unstable or restricted in life in relation to the emotional issues of the left and right side. Or feminine and masculine. In a nutshell, if you have right knee pain or a history of injuries to this area, have a think about where you're at in your career. If it's not feeling right, take some time out and work out what it is you want to be doing with your work life. Get into something that aligns with your values. Get into a place, a company where you feel your worth is respected and you're supported. If you have left knee problems, think about your relationship and whether or not you feel like you're moving in the direction that follows your desires and allows you to express your creativity and intuition. Remember that when you're dealing with emotions and making changes to head in the right direction, that it is your responsibility to become aware. It's not anyone else's problems that you feel the way you do. 
Feeling undervalued in a job may not be a boss's problem, but rather the fact that you have your own self-worth issues that you need to work on. Know that sometimes you won't understand until you understand. If you find yourself blaming others or seeing how everyone else needs to change to make your life easier, snap out of it and find another way. Thanks for learning with me on the Art of Listening to Your Body podcast. If you like what you've heard, I would love if you could rate, review and share with your friends. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram. My handle is The Art of Listening to Your Body. You can join my free Facebook group where I go live regularly to teach you about different conditions and the deeper underlying emotions at play.